Hello everyone, Marcus Dahl here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the subject of immersion within virtual reality, or in sort of online terms, the full dive. Let's get started. How about we have a definition for what exactly the full dive is, or just what necessarily we're talking about whenever we say immersion? You see, the full dive is just another way of saying high-end VR, really. The full dive within the context of sort of online at the very least, was referring to the subjugation of the entire user's consciousness into the virtual reality simulation. So in essence, whenever we're referring to the full dive or immersion, what we're really asking is what exactly virtual reality is. To analyze that very question, I've split up the word itself by its constituent parts. Virtual is a phrase that refers to something that is constructed by or is on a computer and or if we go by the original definition, refers to something that is almost existing or partially exists. The other word in the definition, reality, is essentially the way the world is before us, the world as it is. It's odd in a way, but both words refer to what I've seen and observed to be two different types of immersion. The first phrase, virtual, refers to the actual crafting of the world, or in other words, the environment that we're exploring. The second phrase, reality, refers more to the way we're experiencing the world and the way the inputs attack us in a way. So this is the technological aspect of it. I'm going to go into the latter first, since it's the one we're probably the most familiar with. So let's go. With the reality aspect of immersion, what we're actually doing is trying to trick our minds into believing that it is observing another world. Or in a way, if we're not tricking it, we're just providing it a different input. There are overall three different methods of achieving this. The first is by directly stimulating the organs as we observe them. The second is by successfully interacting with the nerves to send the messages we want. And the last is to directly interfere with the mind in order to obtain the information we want. The mind when it's usually achieved via VCI, but I'll be going into the actual techniques for achieving such immersion in the next video. In the respective order that I listed the items, I suspect that's probably going to be the order in which we successfully achieve virtual reality. At this moment in time, I'd say we're starting to hit that first one pretty hard with products like the Oculus Rift and software like Binaural Audio. However, the second and third stages are probably the ones that we're looking for the most. So then, now that we have the reality aspect covered, let's look into the virtual aspect, as this one is one that I believe gets neglected all too often. With the virtual aspect, we're essentially talking about the media as it is. We can observe this at almost any time if we want. I can actually provide you an example right now. This video. Media in general. Songs, music, videos, movies, books, comics. Every form of media as far as we can possibly think back to is a form of virtual immersion. It's that moment when you're reading a good book, when you're watching a great movie, or when you're listening to some sweet tunes, or just doing anything really that just plain old catches your rhythm, that the world seemingly melts away. So, what do we have overall? I'd say a very interesting conundrum. Even though the virtual and the reality aspect of immersions are basically diametrically opposed to each other, they seem to be integral towards the construction of what I deem virtual reality. <laughs> it seems I've done quite the little thing here and forgotten to answer the question. What is virtual reality and by extension a full dive? As far as I'm concerned, virtual reality is the moment a device or some simulation successfully makes you forget that you're even a part of this world. The world before you may be computer generated but as far as your mind's concerned, it doesn't seem any less real than the other world that you just came from. The virtual world may not have anything to do with the world that you were just in before, but you're so engrossed in this new world that in the end, you don't even remember that fact. As far as you're concerned, this world is the world you've been in for as long as it's been, and this is a reality that you know. Thank you very much for watching that video. Please, like the video if you liked it, as it helps out the channel, and if you disliked it, 
do share that information as well, as it lets me know what to or what not to do. Also, share your thoughts down below in the comments section, as it's always great to have a good discussion on these topics, since they are very talk-worthy in my opinion. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, click this button right up here, or the one right below it if you want to follow me on Facebook. This button here on the left has access to my Tumblr page. I'll be updating that a lot more in the future, as I get closer to my new update video. Well then everyone, I hope that you've all enjoyed this video. Until next time, this has been Marcus Dahl, logging out.